Hi guys, today on Divas and Cook, we are making my mom's easy bake ziti. Growing up, everybody asked for this recipe, so I'm so excited to share with you guys. I think you're gonna like this one, let's go. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our ziti noodles. I'm gonna cook these a little under al dente, then we're gonna rinse them off with cool water, drain them, set them aside. We're gonna move on to our meats. Mom always used three types of meat. I'm using this breakfast sausage, some diced pepperoni, and some Italian sausage go ahead and chop that all up throw it into a deep skillet you can use turkey beef whatever um, yeah okay so go ahead and break up that ground breakfast sausage throw in those Italian sausage yum it smells so good and using all these different meats we can really skip adding in all those seasons and stuff we're gonna throw in some fresh onions some fresh garlic stir that up let it cook and get all yummy deliciousness it smells so good then we're gonna sprinkle on a lot of Italian seasoning to kind of add more flavor to it then we're gonna drain off that excess fat I usually leave a little bit in there but I drain most of it off now we're gonna go to our sauces. I'm using these diced tomatoes, some marinara sauce, and a four cheese spaghetti sauce. These three together are like amazing. They taste so good together. So go ahead and throw that right into the pan. I'm using the um, seasoned tomatoes. Those are really good. I'm gonna use half the mixture, half of the, all of the tomatoes, but half of the marinara and half of the spaghetti sauce. We don't need all that in there, okay? I like mine kind of chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Like my food, I explain. Okay, so yeah, stir it all up together just like this. Okay, now we're gonna reserve about a cup of this mixture because we're gonna add this to our cheese mixture to get it nice and creamy and all that kind of stuff. So go ahead and bring it to a boil, cover it up, let it simmer for about, mm, you know, 20 minutes maybe. If it starts to get too thick, just go ahead and add in more of that marinara sauce or that spaghetti sauce just to keep it from, you know, boiling down too much. All right, that's perfect. All right, now we're gonna move on to our cheese mixture. I'm using this six blend Italian cheese, some ricotta cheese, and some cottage cheese. Mix it all up, wonderful. Here's the cheese blend I'm using. It has like smoked provolone, romano, just a whole bunch of different cheeses. All right, and in a separate bowl, we're gonna add in our beaten egg and all of those yummy, yummy cheeses. Now, I don't normally deal with cottage cheese, y'all, but in this baked ziti, oh my God, it is the bomb, take a tea. So do not skip that cottage cheese, okay? Don't do it, it has so much flavor to it. All right, now go ahead and mix up. I'm gonna add in a little bit of fresh basil, fresh basil there, go ahead and toss it in. You can add in more, but you know, yeah, add about a tablespoon of fresh basil, and then we're gonna toss in our noodles. I like to do it like this because it keeps it nice and creamy and moist. I don't like no dry ziti, honey. I cannot get down with that baked dry ziti, no. But this way it stays nice and creamy and just wonderful. Next we're gonna toss in that reserved um, meat sauce that we had and just stir it all up. I probably should have used a bigger bowl, girl. It was falling out. Well, that's perfect. Now it's time to get into layering. The first thing I do is add a little thin layer of the meat sauce to the bottom of my casserole dish just to keep it from sticking and things like that. Next, you're gonna add on half of our noodle mixture. So doggone good, you guys. Oh, you're gonna love this recipe. All right, we're gonna add half the noodle mixture and next we're gonna add on a layer of that meat mixture. Just go ahead and plop that right on and spread it out. Pack it down, honey. Pack it on down there. And then we're gonna add, for this middle layer, I'm using this triple cheddar and some thin slices of smoked Gouda, y'all. Oh, oh, that smoked Gouda. See, what happens with that smoked Gouda is that it melts. And then when you're eating this ziti, you get little pockets of smoky creaminess. It's just, oh, it's a beautiful thing, so do not skip that smoked Gouda, honey. It's so amazing in this recipe. Okay, now we're gonna add on our final layer of noodles. Okay, just pack it on, press it down really good so you have room for everything. Then we're gonna add on our last bit of meat sauce. Yummy! This ziti is not messing around, you guys. It is full of meat and cheese. It's like 10 different cheeses in this thing. And then we're gonna finish it off by topping it with that Italian cheese blend. We're gonna bake it at 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes, and it comes out looking like this. This beast of a ziti, honey. Beautiful, delicious, flavorful. And we're gonna top it with a ton of fresh part, I mean, um, what is this, basil. A ton of fresh basil, make it look pretty, add a nice little freshness to it. And now you wanna let it sit before you cut into it to set up, but we don't do that in this house, honey. We go straight from the oven to our plates, piping hot, messy, cheesy, beefy, ziti. So, so, so good. I hope you guys make this recipe. I think you are going to love it. We love it around here. And don't forget, you can find this recipe on my blog at dwisoncook.com with all the measurements and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.